Hi everyone, this is Jeff from TeacherCast and this is the first of what will be many videos on how to sign up and use Twitter and use it effectively in your classroom, not only to grow your professional learning network, but also to become a highly dynamic educator. We're going to start today by going to twitter.com and we're going to type in here your name, your email, and your password to sign up for Twitter. So I'm going to type in here Jeff from TeacherCast. I'll put an email in here. And my password I will type in. So I'm going to create a brand new account. And when you sign up, it makes sure that everything is easy and locatable, has our name, has our info, has our password, and uh, we're going to click here, creating an account. All right, being new to Twitter, it wants to help you really grow that professional learning network of yours. It gives you a few suggestions. We're going to click next right here. And it wants us to build our timeline. It wants us to find people that we want to follow. And, and already right here, a lot of teachers look at this and start to get a little nervous and, and maybe even decide to turn away at this point because it gives you some suggestions to follow. You can see a lot of celebrities, some sports figures, politicians, and really I find a lot of educators just want to jump in and find other educators that they like. Now we really haven't talked yet about hashtags, so what we're going to do is I just want to give you some suggestions. When you do a search, you can search through some of the great educational hashtags that are out there. So I'm going to search for hashtag edchat, and I'm going to hit enter here. And this is going to come up with a result of teachers that are using the edchat hashtag. Now, some of these might be familiar to you, and some of these educators might be uh, you know, new. So I want to give you some ideas of who to follow and I'll give you a few reasons why. A couple people that I like to follow is down here, our good friend Jerry Blumengarten, Cyberry Man. Definitely a must follow here. Also want to give a shout out to Cool Cat teacher Vicki Davis. She's a must have follow on Twitter. Also our good friends Tom Whitby, Steve Anderson. Let's see, it wants one more. I'll ask you guys here to follow our good friend Eric Scheniger up at New Milford High School. We'll click next. Also you can see here before I click next, it's giving you an example here of all of their tweets and really starting to grow that timeline. Let's see, I'll also uh, follow Patrick, Angela, Lisa Nielsen, some other good friends that we have on here. Mary Beth's always a good one to follow. So we'll hit next and see, see who's here, find other well-known people. I don't really go for this. Again, this is trying to get you to follow the big celebrities. If you're really keeping an education, you can always go back to the EdChat hashtag. You can also, of course, go through other hashtags such as Social Studies Chat, SS Chat, English Chat. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward through here onto the next set so we can actually get your profile all set up. Once you have your Twitter profile set up, this is the first screen that you're going to see. I'll walk you through this. On the left, you have a box right here that has how many tweets you've done, how many people you're following, and how many people are following you. It gives your name, it gives you a link to your profile page, and then it shows this picture right here, the dreaded Twitter egg. And we're going to talk in our next video about how to change that egg into your own personal following uh, into your own personal avatar. Down here we have Twitter trends. You can see that some of these are hashtags and some of these are uh, you know maybe some world news, maybe some famous people that are trending. iPad 4 happens to be in today. On the right side is our Twitter timeline. This shows everybody here that we're following. You can see that we followed our good friend Jerry, Mary Beth, Vicky here and you can see that they've been tweeting away and really having a good time with their personal learning networks. So this is the basics of Twitter.
stay tuned for our next video where I'm going to show you how to work on your profile page, update your avatar, create a great bio. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. Check out our great our website, teachercast.net, for all your professional development needs. This is Jeff Bradbury. Thanks so much.